One of the things that occurred to me when I first started playing drums, um, that was at age 13. When I was around 10, I took piano lessons uh, for a year or so, and I, I didn't take to it very well, and it was a spooky old lady in a big spooky old house. <laughs> so I uh, soon started um, skipping out of my piano lessons and uh, spending the money on chocolate bars. But of course, what I learned there did stay with me and became so useful after the fact of uh, not being intimidated by the notation side of music, as it were, as opposed to the rhythmic side. And uh, when I got in bands too, I, um, I had a lot of influential guitar players in early rock bands, guitar players that were just so aware of all the music that was happening in the world and introduced me to all this uh, this wonderful new music of the late 60s and also a lot of them very disciplined musicians too where one guitar player I, I just had to watch his foot all the time and he was very strict about tempo and helped me to rein me in because I was undisciplined and wild and um, got, when I got excited I would speed up as one does. So uh, these musicians had an impact on me and uh, they also took the time to show me how to play bar chords and I, and I had a cheap little guitar and just learned the basics of playing guitar chords and came to understand that a little bit um, in, in how they think, you know, how, how uh, alternate ways of perceiving the, uh, the piece of music go. So for any uh, musician starting out really it's nice to understand the rest of the band members, what it takes them to uh, do their job, what palette of colors they're working from, and where the satisfaction is too. You know, we know what's powerful and exciting for us as drummers to do, but when you pick up a guitar and get to know, oh, that's how it feels to hit a power chord. Um, so those are nice. And one c kind of parallel course of study for me in the uh, 70s, when the three of us as a trio started to feel a little bit stunted, and we talked about even adding a fourth member of keyboards, probably just to expand our, uh, our palette of textures rather than just be guitar, bass and drums. Uh, that was the time long before electronics and sampling, of course, so we took the analog route and um, started adding things ourselves, where Getty started using keyboards and, and uh, the primitive synthesizers at the time, foot pedals, were a big deal to be able to add bass from a foot pedal point of view so that uh, what they could double on guitars, Getty could play keyboards, and I started adding uh, percussion sounds, again, just to expand the number of sounds that we could put out. And um, so I got into a, gl a glockenspiel at the time, and I had big orchestra chimes behind me for a while, and then when MIDI came along, and the, the cat midi marimba, perfect for all of that kind of stuff. And I always had an old, I still have an old beat up learner's marimba at home that um, I've just brought out of storage recently, in fact, and just set up and just start playing every day because it's such a different mode of thought. And that's, that's what's so, um, so useful, really. I was playing mallet instrument, but, but not thinking in terms of drum set and thinking, think, not thinking in terms of knitting all your, your limbs together into a, a cohesive performance, but rather just concentrating on harmony and um, placement of those mallets to get the right notes and the right chords and combinations going. So it's a different way of thinking, which is also a nice, refreshing thing. One of the things I love when, uh, when we start working on a new record is that, um, because I write most of the lyrics for the band, I'm, the, the other two are um, usually in a little studio exchanging ideas and recording them, and I'm off in another quiet room putting uh, lyrics together. And again, that's one mode of thought. And if I have a drum set around, where I can just go and play for a while and then the other side of the brain. It's so refreshing and, and again such a different way to think so that if I start to get anxious with staring at words and crossing them out and moving them around and all that the craftsmanship of that part, just to go in and play drums for a while um, is just such a refreshing change and, and introduces me to an alternate way of thinking briefly and so it becomes uh, refreshing in that way and so in the larger picture too if we can be introduced to an alternate way of thinking musically or otherwise uh, it can only be healthy. <music> Education, music, conversation, you know, just a dialogue among drummers of all kinds and a chance for them to meet each other, uh, if not personally, at least electronically, and uh, promises to be a, a kind of a great new talking drum channel, a chance for all of us to uh, converse and share all around the world.